we, we've dealt with the whole generation of people that have run from church just because it's been scary. It's been weird. It's been like rules. And when you meet Jesus, we believe it's not a you have to. It's a you get to. So rules are what you need if you don't really want to be involved with something. But if you have a relationship with God, I think that it's it should be freeing. It should lift your head, not put it down. It should add less weight to your life because Jesus said, I'm going to take the weight off of you. So our church is less about telling you what to do and trying to teach you how to think. And you got to come to these conclusions on your own. But normally you come into church, it's like 10 things you can't do. Can't drink, mm. can't smoke, mm -hmm. can't have sex, can't talk. To, like literally can't live. That's what it feels like. Right. And we'd rather, you know, kind of reverse that and get people to to know Jesus first. And then from there, you start realizing, cool, it's not that I can't do that. It's I don't want to do that. Uh, Big what, difference. What are the what are the hard set rules that you that do exist in now? Now, your your church, Hillsong, is a uh, version of the <laughs> Pen Pentecostal. I was, was going to ask, what's your what's your actual denomination? It's non-denominational. OK, OK, but it but it does take some uh, inspiration yeah. from the Australian. Oh, yeah. Pentecostal. Is that what it is? Well, in Australia, the denominations are different. OK, um, but it would be a. Uh, a non-denominational charismatic church is okay. how you describe it. So we we have like we dance with snakes once a month. We I'm kidding. <laughs> oh, I was I was waiting. Yeah. I was gonna ask. I was, I was about to like, sign up. Wait, I was, wait, I'm into that. Uh, no, we we uh, you know we we are a church that just believes that the denomination aspect of things it's less important than than who we're talking about. So. Um, yeah, what was your original question? Be, I was just going to ask, like, what the are the hard set rules? Just because I, as as someone who uh, has found a personal connection to Jesus, in, especially in my recovery, and what I and a, what I was a story a, you have, by the way. Yeah, thank you. My yeah, gosh, it's wild, wild, amazing. Um, but uh, and everybody knows it, so I'm not going to even touch on it. But <laughs> but obviously, uh, I, I I was born a, a Methodist, and I was you know believe in Christ my whole life. But I formed a more personal connection myself, yeah. and um, I don't. Uh, regularly attend church. I'd like to work on that. And I don't, I don't utilize a, a pastor to create that connection, but I have a personal conversation with Jesus Christ every single day of my life. Mm. And so I'm curious just, f f you know, to hear from you, what the hard set rules are that exist. There has to be some, like, is yeah. it be good to one another? Is it right. like, what is the well, core belief like of that the, system? The core tenets of our faith, it's to love people, mm -hmm. love people more than yourself. Um, put people first, be kind, um, be more thoughtful, than you've ever been before. I think when you talk about rules, like Jesus said really clearly, if you want to do what I tell you to do, he took the 10 commandments, you made them two, love me and love your neighbor. He made it really simple. So all the rules and all the stuff that we put on religion, that's what, that's what people have done. But Jesus was the opposite of that. He said, if you really want to know what religion is, it's caring for the widows, helping out the orphans. And he was talking to religious people when he said that. So our, our thing is when you start defining your life, that's because you know Jesus and you start to understand what the Bible is really about. And uh, we win sometimes because people have had so many bad experiences with church and religion. So they mm. step into our church like, oh, this is the greatest thing ever. And we're like, sorry, you feel like that because it's not. <laughs> but it's like if you got food poisoning at five restaurants, you'd be real hesitant to go to the sixth. Yeah. But if you just survived that sixth outing, you'd be like, that's the greatest restaurant in the yeah. world. Mm. That's kind of what we're dealing with. So you're the Cracker Barrel. Of the <laughs> if that, we're the Applebee's, <laughs> like maybe. You know, we are know? the 7-Eleven deli. Wait, why do you say that, though? What? But, well, why do I say what? Like, why, why is it? What, why, yeah. uh, why lower the esteem of your church? Well, it's not that I'm lowering it. I think I'm just trying to put it. I, I love our church. It, it's, it's just it, sometimes we want to make things spectacular that aren't. And if you came to our church, you guys would be like, this is cool. But it's not like this thing that's spectacular because God uses regular people. If I were to tell you religion scares me, what's your response to that? Because I'm not. God's judging you right now as we speak. <laughs> I would, everyone um, judges everyone. Religion should scare you because I'm, I'm not. I don't even believe in religion. Religion is a construct of right. things that you have to do. I believe in a relationship with God. And that's totally different. I imagine thinking about something like a relationship mm -hmm. rather than a parole <laughs> visit. Mm. Yeah, yeah, you, yeah. You, not that you guys would know anybody that's I, ever I been do. on parole. I, I do. <laughs> but, you know, it's almost like this dread. Like, that's my religion. I have to go yeah, have yeah. the priest bless me. I have to go do this and I can't do that. But if it's a, a relationship, this is an active conversation. This is alive. This is you know, a God that actually wants to hear your voice. So often we're just redefining who Jesus has always been because everybody thinks God is so far. You Are know? you more of a facilitator than a church, would you say? Or more? Well, more, that you should know, be like the job. Yeah. So, so Catholicism, for instance, like their priests are really necessary, right? The point of Christianity is for the leaders to not be as necessary 
So my job is to teach you or to encourage somebody else to know God so well where I'm out of the picture. If anything, a pastor should be a bridge. Yeah. But if you have a religious construct based on the people who are facilitating it, that's a problem because you always need me. So if I'm a, if I'm a pastor or a priest that wants to keep drawing people to me, I'm not going to tell you everything. I don't want you uh, to be so good. Yeah. I don't want you to be so you free. You don't want them to outshine the mass. Yeah, I don't yeah, want yeah, you yeah. to be so free that you don't need me. So I'm yeah. going to give, give you a little bit of guilt. Right, I'm right. going to preach something that's a little bit manipulative and keep you coming. But we believe the opposite is true. If you preach the truth, people are going to want to keep finding that. That's what about kind of, yeah, go ahead. that's kind of like the uh, churchianity, right? Or, yes. Okay. There's like the concept that churches are uh, Catholicism and Catholic churches are only set up to get people to come in and pay their tidings and teach them, like you said, only enough so that they can not quite get to the point that they need to be to be completely free within their own minds and their spirits and find their own faith, but always be reliant on yes, the person on yeah on the teachings and the hierarchy of the Catholic church. Yeah. And I, I ran from it. Like I, I had a pretty rough, not rough past. Like I have a great family, but I played basketball in college. UNC? We lived that by life. The way, NC Hill. State. Oh, NC sorry, State. NC State. That's now offensive. I'm just going to walk. That's Ooh. offensive. It's the most offensive thing I could have ever said to <laughs> you. That's offensive. Like that, that's beyond you're, religious But you're from offense. Delaware, right? No. Oh, oh see, got you. <laughs> All right, now see, we're one and one now. See, now I feel better. Now so, yeah, I feel better. I, I, I just could never imagine myself being involved with Christians. Mm -hmm. Like I just couldn't, I just was almost repulsed. Yeah. And I found that to be a lot of people's experience is that they don't have any problem with Jesus, but it's just these seven dudes they've met that are such, you know, idiots mm -hmm. that people are like, I want nothing to do with God. And I was kind of like that as well.